All right, I'm gonna film this so I remember. This is uh, how to roughly calibrate the probe on a Hitachi V665. So I got the manual, but it's not very, not super helpful. So I'll just start with this powered off. Um, this is a pr probe. I've got it on uh, 10 times. Got that hooked up to the adjust plug, and I'll hook up the ground. This clip stinks. All right, so I'm gonna power it on. Just gonna take a second to calibrate. Calibration completed. All right, so what this should look like is a square wave with, um, it says here, 0.5 volts at one kilohertz. So first thing I'm gonna do is put the time on auto. That got me my square wave. Notice I'm on horizontal position. That means this does the horizontal position. So I'll line it up with you know, wherever I want. Um, this does the vertical position. All right. So you see I'm at uh, 0.2 volts. I think that's 0.2 volts per division, and then that's the time, 0.2 milliseconds. So let me go ahead and try and move this down to measure. So I can set my cursors here with this button and this knob. So I'm moving the lower cursor now. So there's that cursor is at the bottom. Then I'm moving the top cursor down. And yep, that's about, let's see, 5.18. 5 uh, see, I didn't, I didn't focus very well. Get the lines nice and sharp. Uh, it probably is, you know, it probably is 5 volts. Uh, the lower one looks a little off if I move it in. So, okay, so I got the 5 volts part. So now I want to do the frequency measurement. So how I do that is you keep bumping. This will stay on measure, but you keep bumping this down. So that's uh, the time. Time frequency. So it's the same. I should be able to set frequency. Um, cursors, so I'll go from there, bring my other one in, well, I guess I went a little past, but you see it's close to a kilohertz, so um, that's just a good test of if it's working, uh, when I got this thing, this switch was worn out, and I had to take it all apart to uh, resolder in this switch, this a very important switch so it had to be done so that's how you um, test the probe test the probe test the oscilloscope function um, some some basic things you want to have this on auto to kind of give your your time a good measurement you must have this all the way to the right to get the voltage measurement so let's go back to the voltage measurement you see how it's got uh, an actual volts reading there. If I take this off the center one, I'm not talking about the outer one. If I take this center one, this is a minor adjustment of the volts per division. So if I click that off at all, it see it's it's changed it to how many divisions this is between.